attacking the bottom floor. The defender bands, Valkyrie has become this. I, I don't know what to call. Now gone I, being I played by Pam Bazoo is Ash, and well now. <laughs> Pardon me. Yes. Tends to go down by the bookcase, by the B-bomb, and Pojo's not looking correctly. Oh, it leaves just NGR and BC by that diffuser, which goes oh. down. Nitro Cell eaten by BC. Where the tization is going to come from. Hopping on that diffuser, he's running out of time. He goes for the vault out, but if Chala sticks it, he could very oh. easily get it. No, NJR's down in the clutch, and it's Chala. Uh... The building, no, wasting no time, and he's got good control, but Chala will shut him down. It's as though and Pojo will shut him down. It's a three on three, but the back and forth will continue. The vertical control coming in big for TSM. This rush trap for DZ has not worked out as they'd hoped. Merc, who didn't need to peek again. Wait for it. Let him come to you, but Merc decides to go for it, leaving Bolo and BC in a 1v1 showdown. But I thought it was, I thought, it, I, surely it would be fleeting. Oh my, it, oh. It, it, he got away with it again, Parker. And Hyper's gonna go for a Hail Mary play, trying to repel in through heaven. The drop from Skylight for Pambazoo doesn't work. Neither does Hyper's play. It's just NJR under Skylight. He'll die in due course. He took one with him. This one out, as grim as things may look. Ooh, that's a tough angle for both these players and NJR's better. Marks. If he swings on out, he might be able to capitalize off of this. BC takes out Pojaman. Bolo is on the hunt. He sees the gun. Down goes NJR. BC in a 1v2 match on the line. A flawless for TSM is in the books. And it's not just in the books. It's a reality. 7-0 for TSM yet again. I, I stepped away when it happened, but you were really giddy about something that Bolo did on Cafe. What was it, man? I mean, I want There's no truth to be had here. Lie to me, Michael. We've like got some very it. different operator bands, though, by the way. While we were talking in Ivory Window, his teammate DP fires not too far off. He hits an air jab on his fall down from the fireplace and is punished. He's the very first casualty. Despite them putting up some performance, Thinking Aid with the vault in through the pool table window along with faults, and that's working out great for the attack so far. Retro, the last defender now, but you've got low As he starts to fake that disable, he'll be flanked from above. And SSG will take the first round. Over towards bedroom. J9O gets punished from below. <laughs> Hot and cold's rain based on disrupting the afterlife. So iconic. Shuttle in a 1v5. Flawless round come out for Space Station. Right now, Rampy's downed, but he's not dead. So Space Station does indeed get the flawless. Into the site. Hot and cold has made his way in, but he's not going to find his targets. It's actually J9O to pick up two very impactful frags. Down now. He's burned 30 seconds off the clock. He knows he's got one to his left. He knows he's got one to his right. Real exciting. A lot of disrupt are down below and they are just wandering helplessly into the hands of the SSG members. Houghton's the only one who's been shut down. Fultz will join him. Iconic wants the kill. He desperately wants it. He gets it and then spotted. Out he goes! Down Slurium goes Bob. stairs. Need to hunt down that diffuser. Whoa. He's got 10 seconds. What a shot on the Rampy. He sees it. Does he? No, not yet. He doesn't. You've got three seconds, two seconds, one second. He uh. doesn't know where it is. He finds the air jab for his troubles. All thinking they need to do is stay alive. Iconic gets the kill, but it is way too late. Objective play is in their hands, and oh no, Bosco on the ground is just better than them, so he'll play keep away for now. Diffuser getting planted, he's got one to get, there he goes, down, Bosco in a 1v1, can he stop Retro? He sees him, yes he can, and he'll get both those kills for good measure, and the Diffuser to boot. As I say that though, Fultz finally goes down, there's a reef from Rampy playing the back stairs, and he'll fall back. In the half of the previous round, now they're in... Jeopardy of it getting a double kill rather for Rampy, a triple for him. Hot and cold finishes it off. Everybody from Disrupt peaks. It's in five versus four. They need to get past the shield, but they're going to have trouble as down they don't have the diffuser. And time is dwindling. An aggressive push up from Thinking Aid will net no success. He'll go for another peak. This time it works out great. There's the cover, and it's off the diffuser plant with zero seconds on the clock. There it is. Space Station lock this one up and tie it with a bow. That was a close round, as this was a close match. The score. Certainly some mistakes once again. Their second time on Chile, and unfortunately, it's their second loss. Yeah, take a look at the stats, Bosco. The, the main... Through site, but most notably, that top floor. Last one going to be Clash, and well, as just for that lane control that we saw utilized a little earlier on today. She can just be so here in a couple of seconds, but as we get more of an upkeep as to what's happening on White, and he actually has case control right outside that window, not aware of the positioning, though, of the two Beast Coast as to where the plant is going down. Nitro Cell out. Can it get it done? It can! Nyx does it! It plays out just like it should from below with immediate support on the pre-fire coming in from loading, though, but the the problem is there's still frag grenades in play and no see it's not working another kill goes by the way of the attackers dream looks and misanalyzes the situation. 
Very desperate for the time being. And Rudy almost with the double. It's not terrible, but with no time left, Benji trying to dodge more nades finally goes down in this race as of yet. Loading with the spray to try to take down another player, but Rudy gets the better of them instead. Loading denies further action by Sippin. And here comes no the utility way. denial. No He's got way. the angle for it. No. He shoots the second off as well. What a Spunk play. Gas grenades come in to save the life of Biologic, but here's the problem. Quartz on the swing. It's not enough to kill Bio as he trades out. It's We're down the other goal. side. Seven seconds left, and he's going to walk right into the trap. Beautifully played by Bio. In the one into dining. Awkward. He's going to be able to play his life out, although Bio will get taken down. Upstairs. Huge loss for Bio to go down in that specific situation yeah, there. He was the wedge between the attackers that have moved forward, and unfortunately, with Nyx pushing in with Benji, able to get the flank onto Fozel. They'll take control of the site, and I'm assuming this round, and it seems like it might have sealed the deal for them to win the match. Indeed, it has. Court shuts down the final frag, and Mirage really did feel like they had a full grasp of what was going on. I think starting on defense helped out Mirage to make this as decisive as it was, but Mirage weren't played back in week one, but they kind of won't have a choice here. So we'll have to see if they either go towards that or they try to bring the track stingers back into play, which is also something that they were doing on their you take control of lobby. No way. Ratchet on the triple kill. It's the push from Grixer and Sonics dice them up and slice them straight out of the map. Drip, the only one that <laughs> survives for exit, and it's not going to be too well, long. Something. Thomas still holding admin. Razor gets taken down. Thomas nice. with a nice exchange. Can't get the second one, though, as Grixer takes directly on to creators. He's getting shot up from a multitude of different angles. So finally, yeah, no longer can you pick yourself up. Filthy with a flank, but no time. Can't even get the kill on. He has to try and get in the way of oh. Drip's plant. Oh, it's going down in the basement. Gotcha planted right at the door. That's exactly how he ends up getting inside. He gets the first one as well as Kansan tries to swing in. It's all up to Super. He's got to worry about the hatch, but Drip has the cross as well. As Trades out on a creators. Two attackers left in the play. Now one as Super stops the first push. And now is the case. Down Filthy. Won't even... To different areas to take these gunfights, at least hold space, but they're not worried about any Anything that's attached to this area. Grixer gets one. He's aware of the other one inside of sight. He can't get the second on a drip. He lands a nice shot. Four. Not very much info to work with. As he'll get taken down from filthy. Test with this rifle as much as possible. But he's starting to take damage here before Super takes him down. Smokes out from the thermite. He needs to get this plant down as well. It's up to Razor to try and battle back. He'll okay. get two. Make here knows that the man's planning white van. He's got plenty of ammo to try and do this. But Rex and so he's very working poor. into the garage. The panel is open. But here's now those struggles. Hands and does he have the trace to finish off Razor? It's death. Already... If only temporarily. <laughs> oh, oh no. no! He actually goes down on the fall there, and yet he just, just can't get it done. He might no actually way. deny the plant right here. Kans had actually killed his teammate. Right. Thomas, <laughs> knife it! Thomas, kill him, please! No! Well, oh, Stokes, I haven't really oh, had a chance oh, oh. to see that yet. Could see it come out now. The Razor with one. Oh, no! He had a remaining one. This will be especially true if they try to rotate upstairs, but it's not looking like that. Creators pulling off the same thing against Rex and x -Set are holding on. Creators with another find also leave so building with only 20 seconds left. As you can see, not the greatest amount of intel about Thomas's position either. So he's able to leverage that final kill under his Creators response just in kind. In kind. Kansan also with another pickup here brings the advantage back under the control of the Sonics. They'll also start their first plan attempt. Two more players. He's going to wide swing here for Spiral. Finds one. The SMG 11 shot's not hitting, but he's going to down himself with an impact and said, Kansan, pick yourself up, buddy. You're looking a little dirty down there on the floor, but not enough time for Filthy to do much. He's going to get pinched finally from Super. The captain of the Sonics puts a dead. These are the post-game stats. Yeti on top, 10 and 6. And um, for x -Set, it was Razor, 8 and 9. Jesse and Jacob, how are you feeling about this? Talk Pretty about it with me. I yeah. want to see where Space Station is now. I got wow, it. Okay. That's pretty huge. I mean, they're now 2-0-1. I suppose that does make sense.